This glamorous and charismatic tortoiseshell and silver mounted table clock was made around 1695 and it is a wonderful example of English horology at the peak of its industry. On the face of it, the clock's case is the star of the show. At 17 inches high, with its big tortoiseshell mouldings and bold silver mounts, topped off with an imposing solid silver handle, the case is a tour de force. But many other features about this clock deserve a special mention. Take, for example, the dial. The beautifully cast silver spandrels with wonderful flowering urns are a very pleasant distraction. But note for a minute the seconds ring. How many 17th century table clocks do you know have a seconds ring? The answer is almost none. The movement is a splendid example of late 17th century London clockmaking, with thick, robust movement plates, chunky ring-turned pillars, verge escapement, and pull quarter repeat on a nest of six bells. But the movement's most striking feature is Massey's approach to the backplate. Rather than put up with pivots and pivot holes interfering with the engraving, he's used a separate brass cover, or key plate as it's known, to cover the true movement backplate so that the engraver's art may be shown off to its full uninterrupted effect. Whilst essentially a clock, this was also made as an object of envy. This is a very rich man's toy, and the owner of this clock put it on display in his house with the sole purpose of demonstrating his wealth and his power to all his friends and guests.